see how to use this screen capture command okay so first is uh, in the screen capture command we have three sub commands over here in screen capture command first is capture desktop if you want to capture entire desktop second is window if you want to caption a specific window and then we have capture area so if you want to caption a specific area so generally we uh, capture entire uh, desktop uh, yes uh, uh, i have a suggestion uh, before uh, going to means any of the commands can you please uh, describe uh, in two lines that what actually uh, the uh, motive behind um, this actually specific commands uh, like the screen capture uh, why we are using screen desktop windows and area uh, we are uh, means uh, assuming that uh, it is uh, using to uh, take a screenshot of uh, of your screen or any specific area uh, mm -hmm. but a basic idea what it is so that we can make up our mind that uh, what is going to be happen next uh, in this okay see uh, as per this command suggest screen capture so this will basically capture a screen and this command is generally used you know whenever like suppose if there is any error produced uh, when a task is getting executed or the task has finished execution okay sometimes there is an error message or any particular window screen that you want to capture at any given point of time then we can use the screen capture command okay uh, so we have these three sub commands over here for the screen capture uh, as as it says over here capture desktop capture window capture area so first is capture desktop wherein you can capture entire desktop okay so whenever there is any suppose if you want to think like you want to capture suppose say you are doing a, a login activity for a particular application and you want to check whether it has been whether the application has been successfully logged in or lo uh, not okay or is there some kind of error so you can do one thing like you can you know write certain tasks to open that application and then you can put just a, a this command the screen capture to cap capture the screen okay at that time you can use the screen capture commands as you can see we have a capture desktop capture window and capture area so we generally use this capture desktop multiple number of times uh, very rarely we use this capture area because you know capture area gives us the coordinate base like you know we can capture specific area but uh, since we have this capture desktop we go ahead with this capture desktop because this will give us the entire uh, entire snapshot of the desktop okay the area of the desktop which it has captured at that given point of time okay here you need to specify your image location any location which you can uh, you know uh, any folder or any uh, if you want you can also go ahead with the shared path location as per your requirement you can put it over here it, this can also be variable by so you can see this insert a variable f uh, insert a variable by pressing f2 so if you want you can also uh, create a file during runtime in this format so let's try to capture a screenshot and save it in this particular folder and say as capture snapshot or capture screenshot. Okay. Uh, one more important thing here to note is suppose say you want to capture a screenshot on a specific time. Okay. Uh, okay then how you can do it so we know that we have system variables over here that is we can insert a system variable by pressing f2 let's say we put it in this format either we can go ahead with date but best way is you can put it in this format it can be ddmmyy so let's put it date just you know insert f2 and select your variables what you want to put it you can see this this is the name of the file uh, along with it i'm just concatenating this is the text which i'm putting it and then this is the uh, system variable which i'm putting it concatenating with this particular name of the file day month and year okay so now whenever you run this uh, particular command or run you know make uh, iterate this uh, use this uh, particular command it will go on saving the uh, you know image it will not override it you can see if you want you can go with the override file but you know uh, best is that you can you know uncheck it because it will anyhow you know go on executing and new files will be getting stored every moment okay if you execute this multiple number of times so let's click on this override file as of now so since there is no file any present at first run file will get saved over here i'm saving it in the desktop a folder Okay, so this is the one uh, folder. 
let's save this and execute this particular command yes mank can you please say what you want it becomes difficult for me to you know navigate to this window and see the chat window okay so let's execute this command Okay, uh, the task is being executed and the screen is being captured. You can see line one by one action screen capture. So the screen will get captured. The entire desktop will get captured. Okay. Let's see what it has captured. You can see this name over here, captured screenshot. And this is the DDMMYY format. You can see this uh, DDMY format. Okay. Uh, if you want to change, uh, because you know, uh, this is how it stores okay you can see this how the data is getting stored over here same way i have told you manager okay it is taking some time to load okay uh, click on show system variable In the date time, you can see this is how it, you know, uh, the date uh, is written. I have used DDMMYY, uh, sorry, D, uh, date month year. The date is always written. You can see this example over here. Suppose if the date is in this format, it will always return this. Okay. If month is in this format, it will always return one, one digit, that is a uh, two. And the year will always be written in this particular format, four times. Okay. So this is how you can use it. And you can put it along with the uh, name of any particular file to uh, specify or to identify that put, so entire uh, desktop has been captured. Okay. So say for example, you are running any particular task, and if your task uh, shows an error, so at the error line, at uh, just below the error handle, you can like you know insert this uh, capture screenshot. Or if suppose you have done any activity which you know does any login of the application, so you can insert the screen capture at any you know uh, at any given point of time. So entire screen will be captured. Okay. Whatever is the desktop state, it will immediately capture the desktop state and save it in one particular location. So this is also one kind of good logging mechanism wherein you know you can see the screen what what it has at any given point of time. Be it during execution and any time of UAT, whatever you're doing, you can put the screen capture just uh, the next line below it and you can capture, you can view whatever uh, uh, whatever option or whatever views or whatever is uh, messages are uh, popped up or displayed in the uh, screenshot or in the window. Okay. Uh, then we have capture window. So if you want to any capture any specific window, then we can go ahead with this. Just select whatever window you want to capture. Let's say, for example, I want to capture this start window. Specify this over here. You can also put a wild character uh, star. If you want to capture any particular window which contains certain text during execution, you can put it over here and specify the image location. Same way, I can go ahead. Let's do one thing. Same way, and here you can just replace this and put it the system variable that is day, month, and year. Okay, and if any file is present, it will simply overwrite. So let's use this. Uh, so right now. Okay, so day, month, year, and we can also go ahead with, if you want, you can go ahead with remaining options, that is, you can put minutes as well, if you want, you can go ahead with milliseconds as well, so let's put minutes, and save it, 
and now let's execute this uh, so this what this will do it will just capture that window okay not the entire desktop will capture this window so we'll disable this line save it and let's execute this okay so let's see whether it has captured or not so it has successfully captured you can see this it has captured the start button and this is how the name is stored over here capture screenshot date month year and uh, minutes okay this is how it looks like okay minute is 30 that is why it has captured in this format you can actually also capture the millisecond as well okay whatever name you want to put it you can also insert a variable entire name of file can also be inserted in a variable or if you want you can also concatenate the file name with this uh, system variable as well okay then same goes with capture area so capture area if you if you see okay same way you can select any particular window so let's say for example i select a desktop and here we have a capture area so let's click on this once you capture the area you'll be able to see the uh, coordinates which is getting generated immediately when we capture any specific area so right now it is blank let's capture specific area from the desktop and see if the coordinates are getting uh, populated correctly or not okay so once when you do it you will be able to see you know like this a plus symbol wherein you can capture any specific area so you need to make sure that you know uh, like you can see this any particular area so all the applications or anything would be minimized and you'll be able to see this plus symbol so let's say for example i want to capture this area or let's say i want to capture only this specific area so see the coordinate has been captured so within this uh, you know with uh, within this range your image will be captured okay so that is why it is recommended that you always go for a captured desktop because irrespective of whatever application whatever is running so you can capture entire desktop rather than capturing in a specific window capturing any specific area you can go ahead with this captured desktop okay and then as usual you can specify the uh, file name over here same way in the same format just remove this thing and you can put the system variable by inserting f2 Okay. and if any file present then it will just simply overwrite the file okay let's save this let me disable this line so only that particular area will get captured okay let's see this how it is getting executed I think it was captured in this okay so since i've captured this area so only this particular area or uh, you know particular area was captured so that is why it is always recommended that you use capture this desktop irrespective of whatever location or whatever it is uh, capture desktop will capture entire entire desktop okay so any doubt in the screen capture it's pretty simple that if you want to capture any specific area uh, or area or windows or desktop you can go with it it's recommended that you always use this capture desktop in your runtime or general scenario in your use cases okay and you can put the screen capture command at below at any uh, below at any task uh, below at any command wherein you want to view what uh, what the st uh, state of desktop is after login or you know after any uh, kind of execution of task you can put this simple screen capture to grab a screenshot of the desktop okay